Welcome to today's adventure in nutrition science. Today, we're diving into a topic that's on everyone's mind, sugar versus artificial sweetness. Which is the lesser evil? This video will guide you through the pros, cons, and the scientific lowdown on both, equipping you with knowledge to make informed decisions about your sweet choices. So grab your curiosity and let's get started. Let's start by talking about sugar. What is it exactly? Well, sugar is a type of carbohydrate found naturally in foods like fruits, vegetables, and dairy. The kind we usually think of as sugar is known as sucrose, which is derived from sugar cane or sugar beets. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The sugar that you add to your coffee in the morning or find in candy bars is often refined. This means that it's been processed to remove impurities and unwanted elements. The end product is the pure, white, sweet crystals we're familiar with. According to a study published in the Journal of Nutrition, sucrose is a quick source of energy for our bodies because it's broken down rapidly into glucose. However, overconsumption can lead to some serious health implications. But we'll delve deeper into that later. For now, just remember, not all sugars are created equal. Next, let's discuss artificial sweetness. These are sugar substitutes that provide a sweet taste like that of sugar while containing significantly fewer food energy. You might recognize some common names such as aspartame, sucralose, or saccharin. They're frequently used in diet or sugar-free products, promising the sweetness we crave without the caloric punch. Artificial sweeteners are synthetic sugar substitutes but may be derived from naturally occurring substances, including herbs or sugar itself. Surprisingly, they can be several hundred times sweeter than traditional sugar. A study in the British Journal of Nutrition highlights that they can potentially help in weight management and blood sugar control, given their low calorie content. But, just like with sugar, there's a flip side to these sweeteners that needs to be considered. Buckle up as we continue our journey in the world of sweetness and science. Time to shed some light on the positive aspects of sugar. That's right, sugar isn't all bad. In its natural form, as found in fruits and vegetables, it comes packed with essential nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. For example, an apple contains natural sugar but also provides fiber, vitamin C, and antioxidants. As mentioned earlier, sugar, specifically glucose, is the primary energy source for your brain and muscles during high-intensity exercise. Without sufficient glucose, you may feel fatigued or lightheaded. Moreover, according to a study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, moderate sugar intake can enhance the palatability of healthy, nutrient-dense foods. Adding a bit of sugar to foods like whole grain cereals or yogurt can make these healthier options more appealing, especially to children or picky eaters. However, Remember the key word here is moderation, overconsumption of sugar brings us to its darker side, which we'll explore next. Now, let's flip the coin and delve into the dark side of sugar. Consuming sugar in excess has been linked to a host of health issues. According to the Harvard School of Public Health, high sugar intake can lead to weight gain and increase the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Why is that? Well, when you consume more sugar than your body can use for energy, it gets stored as fat. Plus, high sugar foods often contain lots of calories but few nutrients. So you might be filling up on empty calories, which don't provide the nutrients your body needs to function optimally. Also, sugar can cause tooth decay. When you eat sugar, the bacteria in your mouth use it to produce acids that can erode tooth enamel, the outer shell of your teeth. But don't lose hope, next we're going to talk about artificial sweetness and their potential benefits. Moving on to the benefits of artificial sweetness. The most well-known advantage is their role in weight control. Since they are low-calorie or zero-calorie sweeteners, they can be useful for those looking to manage their weight or control diabetes. The American Diabetes Association states that artificial sweeteners can provide sweetness while contributing minimal or no carbohydrates to the diet, meaning they have little to no effect on blood glucose levels. Another advantage is dental health. Unlike sugar, these sweeteners aren't fermentable, meaning they don't contribute to tooth decay or cavities as a study in the Journal of Dental Research suggests. Lastly, artificial sweetness can be a better choice for people who are unable to metabolize certain sugars due to conditions like hereditary fructose intolerance. But, as we'll find out in the next scene, they also come with their own set of drawbacks. Let's discuss the potential drawbacks of artificial sweetness. One common concern relates to their effects on appetite and weight. Some studies, like one published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, suggest these sweetness might increase your cravings for sweet and high-calorie foods, which could contribute to weight gain. Furthermore, they might impact your gut health. 
According to research from the Weizmann Institute of Science, artificial sweeteners can alter gut bacteria, potentially leading to glucose intolerance. Then, there's the taste factor. Some people find that artificial sweeteners have a different flavor profile, with an aftertaste that isn't as satisfying as real sugar. Lastly, there is ongoing debate about the long-term safety of consuming certain artificial sweeteners. While most have been deemed safe for consumption by the FDA, there's still research being done on their long-term effects on health. We've arrived at our comparative analysis, sugar versus artificial sweeteners. We've seen that both have their pros and cons, but how do they stack up side by side? In terms of calories, artificial sweeteners take the cake. They can provide a sweet taste without adding calories, making them beneficial for weight management, whereas too much sugar can lead to weight gain. However, there's a consideration about the influence on eating habits. Sugar, in moderate amounts, can increase the appeal of nutrient-trick foods, but its overconsumption can lead to empty calories. On the other hand, artificial sweetness may enhance the palatability of foods without adding extra calories, but they could also potentially increase cravings for sweet foods. When we consider dental health, artificial sweeteners win again. They're not fermentable, meaning they don't contribute to tooth decay like sugar does. In terms of metabolic health, both have potential downsides. While high sugar consumption can contribute to type 2 diabetes and heart disease, some studies suggest that artificial sweeteners might negatively affect gut health and glucose tolerance. Taste is another factor. Some people find the taste of artificial sweeteners off-putting, while others might prefer the familiar sweetness of sugar. The bottom line is, both sugar and artificial sweeteners have their place in our diet, but neither should be consumed excessively. It's all about balance, moderation, and personal preference, taking into account individual health needs and conditions. We've reached the expert opinions and recent research segment. There's ongoing research and differing views in the scientific community about sugar and artificial sweeteners. Starting with sugar, the World Health Organization recommends that adults and children reduce their daily intake of free sugars to less than 10% of their total energy intake. They further suggest a reduction below 5% for additional health benefits. Free sugars include monosaccharides and disaccharides added to foods and sugars naturally present in honey, syrups, fruit juice, and fruit juice concentrates. On the other hand, the FDA has approved several artificial sweeteners, including aspartame, acetyl fame potassium, sucralose, saccharin, and neotame, as safe for the general population. But, they do have an acceptable daily intake ADI, which is the maximum amount considered safe to consume each day over the course of a lifetime. However, a 2022 study in the Journal of the Endocrine Society raised questions about potential long-term effects of artificial sweeteners on metabolism, gut health, and cardiovascular disease risk. And a research study in Nature highlights that individual metabolic response to sweetness can vary greatly due to factors like genetics and gut microbiome diversity. In conclusion, the science isn't black and white. New research continues to emerge, and individual responses to both sugar and artificial sweetness can vary. It's essential to stay informed and make decisions based on the most current, evidence-based recommendations. Wrapping up with our conclusion and takeaway message. We've embarked on quite a journey through the sweet world of sugar and artificial sweetness. And we've discovered that, like many things in life, it's not about labeling one as good and the other as evil. But sugar and artificial sweetness have their benefits and drawbacks. Sugar, especially in its natural form, provides quick energy and can enhance the palatability of certain foods, but too much can contribute to weight gain, heart disease, and other health problems. Artificial sweetness, on the other hand, provide a sweet taste with fewer or no calories and won't cause cavities. They can be beneficial for weight control and people with diabetes. However, they may affect gut health, possibly increase sweet cravings, and their long-term effects are still under investigation. The American Heart Association suggests an approach of balance and moderation in consuming both. Pay attention to your total daily intake and consider both your personal taste preferences and health needs. And remember, there's more to a healthy diet than just managing sugar intake incorporating a variety of nutrient-dense foods, staying active, and maintaining a balanced lifestyle are all key for optimal health. So, the lesser evil, it depends on you, your health, your lifestyle, and your personal taste. The sweet truth is in your hands. Stay curious, stay informed, and make the choices that best suit you.